So introducing the LaSalle's LED stroboscope. So this unit takes 24 volts input and it comes with one lamp module. You'll see on the front of the unit that the frequency range is 0.1 Hertz up to 500 Hertz. We have got a coarse frequency tuning down here and we've got fine tuning here. And then you can see that we've also got a brightness toggle here so that changes the pulse length of the strobe. We also have this panel here, which allows you to monitor across a signal and it will then let you capture the frequency of that signal. It will then replicate that signal over here and output it on this module. So what comes in the box is you'll get the main unit, the lamp unit, a PSU and also a cable to tether these two together. So let's have a look at it in action. So here is the perfect example of what you'd use the stroboscope for. So here I've got a standing wave set up on a piece of string. At this end it is connected to a wave driver which is plugged into a SIGGEN. And then on this side I've just connected the piece of string to this retort stand. So what you'd use the stroboscope for in this case is you can find the right frequency to make the string look like it's appearing stationary or you can also find a different frequency which makes it look like the string is moving in slow motion. Now I've tried to capture that on camera but it just doesn't work. The frame rate of the camera just doesn't have it um, so this is just going to have to be something that you get out at your end and have a go with. Um, but there is a cheat to find the right frequency so let me show you what it is. So my stroboscope is plugged in and it's turned on and to get the right frequency we are going to be using this panel here. So I've got some patch cords plugged into that wave driver and I want one of them to go to the black socket, another one to the red one, and then I've got to hit this big red button here. So what this does is it looks at what frequency this voltage is coming in at and then it mimics it on the output. So it thinks that it's at 39.5 hertz. So if we then plug in this extra unit, you shine it at the string, it should appear stationary. Well, it does to me anyway. And then what you can do is you can use the fine adjust button on the frequency here. And then if you twiddle that a little bit, you can find the frequency at which the string will move in slow motion. I should also point out that you'll get the sharpest images when the brightness or the pulse length is turned all the way down. So just press and hold that button until the bulb appears dimmest. Another key product that you can use with the stroboscope is the gyroscope. So that comes with the big black label right across it. And when you get the gyroscope spinning, if you shine the stroboscope at it and the label appears stationary, that means you've matched the frequency of the stroboscope to the frequency of the gyroscope. And from that, you can then work out its angular velocity. So in all, this is a really cool little strobe unit. I hope you enjoy having a play with it.